Welcome to episode six. This episode is about three ways to improve your communication. Now, as an entrepreneur there, communication plays a vital role in our day-to-day basis there. Without a proper and effective communication, you're not gonna achieve to the next scale there. Uh, I believe I mentioned this uh, in my previous video or in a different um, channel there. If you if you are so good at a certain skills or technical skills there with, and then you cannot, if you cannot communicate properly or effectively, it won't bring you to the next level there. So communication is actually uh, like a booster to boost your personal branding to a whole new level there. So communication is extremely important and I will explain to you how you're going to make it better, okay? Now, first one is that have something worth saying. Have something worth saying. You can talk about the interest, you can talk about the sensitivity, or you can talk about uh, your dream, your goal. Have something worth saying. Don't say rubbish when you're talking to people because if you're saying rubbish or something negative there, those people would not talk to you. You are going to attract to the people of who you are. So make sure you have something worth saying. Number two, say it well. So number one, have something to say, and number two, say it well. It is, you know, number one, of course, is the content inside. Number two is how you are going to say it. Have you maximized the usage of your instrument? And you say, ask me, what instrument is that, Aaron? instrument I'm talking about here. Now, if you listen to the podcast now, because you can't see the video, I'm talking about your vocal here. Are you using your voice properly? Are you using your tone at the right time? Are you using the right melody there? It's like music. If you have a very a beginner pianist there, they, they do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star without a proper melody there. I do not think you want to listen to the pianist there. But if you have the right melody there, using the right tone and volume and the pitch, people will listen to you more. Now, <clears throat> within the saying it well, so I put instrument here, I am talking about your voice, okay? That's why we have um, the voice coach, okay? Now, next one, how are you going to say it well? Is this vocabulary? Vocabulary. Vocabulary is a way of seeing. Vocabulary is also is a way of feeling. Without a proper, a good use of vocabulary there, you will not be able to see, you know, what you see there because you cannot describe it. And it also is a way of feeling. You, trans- you translate your feeling into words. And how are you going to pass a message from your own feeling to someone else if you don't have enough vocabulary in your dictionary? So every time when you come across something that you don't know, a word or vocabulary that you don't know, what can you do? Look it up. Dictionary.com. You can download it on your apps. Look it up, save it, and write on your journal so that you can use it the next time so that you can have a proper, a better use of different types of vocabulary at a certain time or at the right time there to express your feeling. Number three there is to read your audience. If you want to be able to communicate with your audience, with your prospect or your customer as well, you need to read your audience. Within that, you're going to read how they see. How are they going to see you? Okay. If you're talking on the stage there, how are they going to see you? Are they going to, you know, have their hand on their mouth, they're yawning? You're going to read them. Okay. How they see you. You need to read what you feel. Did you feel the environment is not right? You feel something wrong. You know, you read how the audience down there is feeling. Did they feel really angry because of the word that you're using? Did you feel they get annoyed because of this, um, some of the example that you use? So you've got to read how, you know, what you feel as well. 
okay and the last one is you need to read what you hear in your years there what you hear in your years because you know the audience down there they might talking to each other they may have a different or negative or positive to what's your um, lecture so you got to read what you hear as well so let me conclude for today the three ways to improve your communication number one have something worth saying okay don't say rubbish number two saying it well it's a matter of how you say it not major majority is not what you say it's how you say it so make sure you use your instrument here properly number two <clears throat> within that use vocabulary well so you got to learn it especially if your first language is not English like me I'm still learning now this day number three read your audience okay you need to read them you know how they react what you hear and what you feel as well so now that is the end for episode six I have more content coming up now don't forget I have my personal website as well at uh, www.aaronholcoaching.com if you have any questions with your freelancing business there don't forget to go up there and check out my free online courses I have some free online courses there and if you are listen to my podcast now okay you can still head to the website or you can go onto my Facebook and I'm more than happy to help the beginning entrepreneurs to bring you to the whole new level so you can live your kick-ass life there okay until then I will see you in the next episode bye for now